Uh, excuse me, but uh, I have so to move up from this, this door is kind of... Okay. So you've been doing a lot lately. Yeah. Okay, so let's begin now with year zero. Well, um, uh, I started, you know, I started recording uh, quite a while back. And uh, I started, I recorded naturally when I was born. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and he's consented to tell us his uh, life story. Today's episode, year zero through one. Well, like I said, uh, actually, I think I started recording, you know, just by the physical laws of uh, things that happen in uh, the universes of today. What was going on in the world when you were born? Well, it was basically right around, you know, rock and roll age, and I don't, I remember, uh, well, I, I remember some rock and roll before the Beatles, but... Not, not very much at all. I just remember. What, what were the circumstances steady. of your birth? I mean, what did uh, your parents suddenly decide that it was time to have a new kid, or they'd always wanted to have? Well, you know, I, th I think, I think, uh, I think I was probably an accident, <laughs> but uh, it was planned. But planned it was accident. planned at the well. It was planned at the wrong time. That's what the accident was. Uh, I should be that at that age at this time. You, uh, you have an older sister, I recall. Yeah, I do have an older sister. So you think uh, there should have been no age differential there? I've heard that uh, children from uh, mothers over 28 tend to come out a little weirder as time goes by. Yeah, yeah. So how, lo how old was your mother when you were born? Um, she was uh, 36. And how old was your father? He was 26. No, no, he was 46. And how old was your sister? She was, uh... She was 10. She was 10, so she always had a 10-year advantage on you. My mother was 26, and my father was 36. That's how old they were when I was born. Right. And your sister was 10. Yeah, right. And sister was 10, and I was... Zero. <laughs> <laughs> events of the night that you were conceived? Uh, Can you remember back that far? No. I think the furthest back I can remember is when I uh, when I started to write my name. When I was able to write my name M-A-R-K and <laughs> I, I you, you knew that meant you knew that that meant Mark. Me, right. I was Mark. And uh, as soon as I wrote it I wrote it real sloppily, and uh, everyone goes, Hurray! I just remember everybody going, Hurray! and I felt it tickling inside, and that's all I remember, you know. So, uh, that was probably around three, and uh, as time went on, I Three, uh oh, yeah, we're outside of our range here. We're back in year zero. Well, I told you, that's the first thing I remember. Okay, well, let's, uh, you know, let's go back now, if you will. I want you to go back with me, back to age 20, back to age 15. Back to age 10, 9, back to age 8, age 7, age 6, age 5. We're pushing back further now. It's getting harder. Age 4. It's getting thicker and harder to push back. To push back through the time memory system. To push back to 3, age 3. We're going back to go even farther. Age 3, we want to go back to age 2. We're moving on now. We're moving on slowly to age 2. We're pushing back into the second year of life, Mark. We're going back to age two. Back, back further. Back along. Back farther in that realm of time. Back farther in our minds, in our memory. Back, back into the first year. The year between one and two. One. We're moving back further. Back. Back into that pre-age one year. Back into 
year zero. Back to the moment of conception, which should be happening just about now. And now we're going back a little bit further. I remember. You're half sperm cell, half egg cell. I remember. You're in you're living in two separate parts of the universe. I was I felt a wall around me. It was it seemed like it was dark, but I I couldn't really move my eyelids. And then I felt this this thing, this whole solid warm wall push against my rear end and then my head I felt a moving in my head and then and I kept feeling this and then I, all of a sudden I felt this cold wind it was like stepping out of a warm comfortable humid house of a greenhouse of 98 degrees and and then I remember I uh, I felt someone uh, I felt someone hit me and and then I saw I opened up my eyes and everything seemed the wrong way I couldn't remember it was like uh, everything was sideways everything was upside down upside down that's right and and then I just couldn't stand this this different world I remember I, it was like a horrible place because I, I realized I didn't know anything about it and I just uh, and then I went mama and then it was recorded and then it was recorded in another dimension and, and all that place and as time went on I uh, I remember you know my name and all that and, and I remember the Beatles and I remember that and uh, I remember uh, however I remember when I started to draw I started to draw like male snakes and and uh, female snakes, and I draw those and I show this to my father and stepmother, and I'd say, here, this is a boy snake and this is a girl snake, see? And uh, that was when I was learning about boys and girls, and then uh, then uh, there was one other thing. I used to draw cars all the time. As a matter of fact. Just the other day, I had an interesting experience. I found an old notebook with this graph paper. It's got, you know, square lines, and they're about sixteenth inch in square in diameter. And I've seen nothing but little cars drawn in them, just just random scribble and stuff. And I looked at it and I said, "That's that's me. I can't believe it. It's just sitting there in the middle of the floor, and I haven't seen it since I was four years old. Either that, or never paid attention to it. And uh, it was really a uh, I looked through it and I thought, well, maybe I'll, uh, you know, appear as, as when I appear on a guest. Uh, we'll be back right after these messages.